Hi there, it's uh, Dr. Mashoud Ghazi from Dr. Mashoud Emergency Medicine YouTube videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about a very important aspect, which is burnout. Burnout among medical professionals, especially the physicians and the nurses, is a very important and well understood fact uh, in the Western healthcare system. Uh, in countries like US, the, it's been recently reported that more than 50% of the physicians have uh, noted that they have been burned out at some point in time in their medical professions. Before we discuss the strategies about how to deal with burnout, first we need to know what actually is the term burnout. Burnout essentially means when the professional, medical health professional, either a nurse or a doctor or a physician, uh, gets mentally and physically ex so exhausted to an extent that their exhaustion is having an impact on patient care. Uh, when the person gets either mentally or physically exhausted, they tend to make small mistakes and in medical profession even a small innocuous mistake can have far-reaching consequences in patient care. There are several causes of burnout. The most important ones are the work overload, lack of support, or financial, social, or family issues. Uh, in the organization form of burnout, the most important reasons would be poor leadership, lack of resources, work overload, lack of communication, um, and things such as um, lack of vision or direction. Things such as lack of vision or direction is very difficult to fix, but poor leadership, work overload and resources or lack of resources are important things to recognize and fix in an organization, especially healthcare. Uh, so what? how does one recognize they're getting burned out? Uh, it could be symptoms could be as simple as fatigue, tiredness or frustration. Later on, when the burnout progresses, a person can have experiences such as getting agitated on slightest of issues or problems, uh, getting more and more anger, uh, ang showing more and more anger, or feeling uninspired at work. Um, it's a well understood fact that when the human, human being gets in a stressful situation, the body releases a hormone called cortisol. It's the same hormone which is released when there's fight or flight uh, situation. This hormone is essentially responsible uh, for protecting the human beings uh, and it's, it fights off the problems. Uh, but this release of this cortisol has a significant impact on rational thinking. So if you have a cortisol release, even though you will survive that stressful situation, but it will have a severe impact on your medical uh, or logical thinking. So how do we deal with burnout? First and foremost step is to recognize that one is having symptoms of burnout. Once you recognize the symptoms, it's important to find out what are the factors which are leading to you getting into a situation where you're getting burned out. And once you find out the factors, it's important to deal with those factors then and there. Uh, rather than delaying those factors and letting them brew on and make a, becoming a bigger issue later on. Certain issues in family or finances are difficult to deal with straight away, but that takes time. But once you recognize those issues are having an impact on your mental or physical health, you need to find solutions on how to deal with it. Some of the simple things you can do is uh, three things. The first and foremost is having a healthy food uh, habit, having a regular exercise habit and uh, getting good sleep. These three are simple things, but very important things in dealing with burnout or stressful, stressful situations. Um, burnout in emergency medicine carries a significant, greater significance. Emergency medicine, among all other medical specialties, is generally recognized as being a very stressful uh, specialty in which the workload is tremendous, patients' expectations are very high, and, and the, the decision-making is, uh, is of highest caliber. Uh, so it's all, all sometimes deemed as a very high-stake job. 
uh, and recognizes that you're getting burned out in emergency medicine, prevents one making very small mistakes which could have significant um, impact on patient care. Some of the simple solutions that one can take, especially working in emergency medicine, if they're faced with burnout are, uh, if you feel that you're faced with a very stressful situation, you can always take a second opinion. Uh, it's, all, it's, it's well understood that two brains are better than one, and in a stressful situation, your thinking power gets impaired. So getting a second opinion will help uh, getting that lateral thinking going. Uh, and in a very stressful situation, taking a few minutes or seconds out just to recalibre your brain helps a lot, a lot in making those right decisions. Uh, keeping up to date with the hot drinks such as coffee, tea, an adequate amount of water during a shift keeps you, sell, your, keeps you fresh uh, during that shift, whether it's 10 hours or 12 hour shifts. And it's very important that if somebody has days off, they use those days off adequately, such as spending quality time with their family, or even they can spend time uh, with themselves, you know, getting their mind refreshed. Um, going for long walks, jogging and running has significant good effect on your both mental and physical well-being. And it's a well-known aspect that re regular exercise um, has a very positive outcome on both the mental as well as physical health. Uh, if you are a music enthusiast, listening to your favorite music helps calm oneself down. So in summary, it's very really important to, some, uh, to recognize one is getting burned out. It's important to f know what are the signs and symptoms of burnout. Once you think you're getting burned out, you need to analyze what are the factors which are leading to that burned out state. And if you find those factors, try to solve them or at least deal with them rather than ignoring them. And things like taking a second opinion, taking a few minutes out, healthy food, regular exercise, good sleep, keep, keeping your hydration levels up, keep taking plenty of hot drinks at work, uh, exercising regularly and listening to medical your, uh, your favorite music helps a lot in dealing with stressful situations or burned out phase. If you like this video, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and please hit the like button. Thank you very much.